Good afternoon, and welcome to this week's Health Matters Health Messages curriculum program. Um, for those that are joining us for the first time, welcome. Glad you could make it. Um, hope you have a good time. Hope you enjoy the information. Those that have been here the previous two weeks, welcome back. Glad you found some time to come back. Um, for those that don't know, this class is posted to the Goodwill Columbus Community Facebook page every Friday around 11 a.m. And it's a 12-week curriculum that kind of deals with a lot of different things. So let's get right into it. As a quick review, what is Health Messages? It's a 12-week Health Matters program for people with various function levels, which include exercise, nutrition, and health education. So that's what the class is made up of. As a quick review, the program is broken up into three goals. The first goal is to increase knowledge about healthy lifestyles. So hopefully you will know more after each class than you did coming into the class. You will know more at the end of the whole curriculum that you knew in the beginning. So that's kind of the idea is to increase your knowledge about everything that the class is about. So hopefully you can learn and grow and continue to expand on your health and fitness level. Program goal number two, improve your fitness. And always remember, everyone is on their own fitness level. So as one person may just want to walk a little bit more each day, one person may want to learn how to, how to do something different, um, shoot a basketball, catch a football, um, go to the gym and work out. Whatever the case may be, everyone's on their own fitness level. So please go at your own pace but make sure that you're keeping it safe and at the same time staying fit and healthy. The third goal is to teach core concepts related to physical activity and nutrition. I repeat, the third goal of the Health Messages program is to teach core concepts related to physical activity and nutrition. The ground rules are kind of, we're quickly reviewing. So the Health Matters Program Common Ground Rules, rule number one is confidentiality. Now, whereas this class is kind of designed to be taught in a classroom setting with the current situation and circumstances, uh, we're bringing it to you via Facebook. So that being said, if someone types in a comment or wants to say something about the class, just kind of keep it confidential. Um, you don't have to share everyone's information. Uh, kind of showing respect to each other, making sure that we are all learning at the same time, um, being attentive, being alert, being open to learning new things, open to hearing new information, and just actively participating, meaning you're here every Friday at 11 a.m. to be a part of the class, and you're just listening and, and kind of following along with the lessons that's being taught. Some quick safety tips. The first one is, if you're gonna do any type of physical activity or exercise, make sure you warm up for at least five to 10 minutes before getting started. Um, it can be something as simple as a brisk walk, um, doing some jumping jacks, a light jog, um, anything to kind of get your muscles going, get the blood flowing a little bit. Uh, make sure you follow up with some gentle stretching just to loosen things up. Um, start slow, give your body time to adjust. You don't just, um, just jump up and just go right into it going real hard and heavy. Just kind of let your body warm up to it and kind of take your time and ease into it. It's a safe way to go. Um, the next safety tip is drink water. The main purpose of this is to keep yourself hydrated. Um, if you're constantly sweating, then you need to make sure you're replenishing your body with those fluids. Um, so drink water before, during, and after your exercise. Um, try to take a sip every 15 minutes or so just to make sure you're keeping yourself hydrated. Um, if you're going to be working out or doing some type of physical activity for up to an hour, plain water is fine. But if it goes for more than an hour, something like a Gatorade or Powerade or some type of sports drink is recommended because it has more nutrients and things in it that your body would need to keep you going past that hour time frame. Kind of keeps you going because you're sweating a lot and your body is losing a lot of those nutrients and things. So. Drinking a sports drink is something that could help replenish those things that your body is perspiring. Do not take your breath away 
You should not feel pain, unwell, or unusually tired or gasping for air when you're doing some type of physical activity. Um, you should do exercises to let get your heart rate up, but do not make you experience any type of shortness of breath. Um, you should be able to have a normal conversation while you're exercising, meaning that you shouldn't be going so hard that you cannot at least have a normal conversation or speak in a normal tone because of the type of exercises that you're doing. If that is the case, then you may want to uh, reconsider the level of fitness that you're going at, maybe tone it down a little bit and not go as hard, just to make sure you're not you know, making your body uncomfortable or doing things that your body feels like it shouldn't be doing. Um, if you're working out with a friend, a buddy, if you have a personal trainer, anything of that nature, um, if you start to feel any type of severe pain or any type of um, swelling or anything like that, or you, there's an exercise that you can't do because a certain body part is, feels uncomfortable, let the person that you're working out with know so that they'll know that you can't do this exercise because you're experiencing pain or maybe you just need to um, not work out at all. And that's one of the good things about always having a workout partner is because they can kind of hold you accountable and you can hold them accountable and kind of looking out for each other, keeping each other safe at the same time. So as I mentioned, this thing is about physical fitness, physical activity. So today's topic is all about that. Week three, get ready, be active is the theme of this week's lesson. Quick question. What do you think? Are physical activity and exercise the same thing? One more time. Do you believe that physical activity and exercise are the same thing? That's a good question. The answer to that is physical activity and exercise are not the same. I repeat, physical activity and exercise do not have the same meaning. Just a quick breakdown of what each one of them mean. Physical activity is defined as any form of exercise or movement. So physical activity is defined as any form of exercise or movement. An activity you do, such as walking, running, basketball, or some other type of sport, are examples of physical activity. Daily activities, such as household chores, yard work, gardening, walking the dog, all of those things are types of physical activities. Um, exercise is just a form of physical activity, if that makes sense. So if you're walking the dog, if you're doing gardening, some people wouldn't call that exercise. They would just say that they're doing some type of physical activity. If you're physically running or, doing, or working out, that is exercise, which brings us to exercise, which is defined as a type of physical activity. So exercise is simply a type of physical activity. As you can see, the guy, the illustration, the guy on the treadmill, he's running, which is an exercise, which is a type of physical activity. So jumping right into the pamphlet for this week's Get Ready, Be Active theme, um, there are different pictures of people, and we're going to kind of point out the ones that are doing exercise. So these first three pictures, there's some guys walking, there's someone reading, and there's a guy lifting weights. Out of these three, the weightlifting guy would be the one that is doing an exercise. The next page has a few more pictures. There's a guy gardening, there's a guy mopping. There's looks like three kids having a picnic. There's someone running, someone sleeping, someone bowling, someone eating, raking leaves, and then there's two people dancing. Out of these pictures here, the exercise would be, I would say the guy running, the girl bowling, the people dancing would be exercise. Raking leaves, mopping, and gardening are all physical activities. So that's kind of other things that distinguish. Now, I'm not saying that one is any better than the other, but by definition, running, dancing, and bowling are all exercises and the other things can be classified as physical activities. So make sure you consider what this week's class was about, physical activity and exercise, 
there's a lot of people out there that may not know the difference. Hopefully, at this point, you are able to explain what the difference between the two are. You can take that knowledge and add it into your own personal life and try to do something um, to as relative to your physical health between this week and next week. And then next week, we'll have a different topic that you can add on to that. So find a family member, find a friend, or someone you may be close with, or someone you may just see on a, at a, from time to time and kind of pass on what you learned in this class to them, and hopefully they can pass it on to someone else, and we can just all pay it forward into keeping each other um, healthy. Quick question. What is the strongest muscle in your body? Hmm. Just think about it for a minute. What is the strongest muscle in your body? I'll give you a second while you think about it. And the strongest muscle in the body is your tongue. How many of you knew that already? I didn't know that prior to this lesson, so it taught me something too. Although your tongue is small in comparison to other body parts, it is considered the strongest muscle in your body. Your tongue is the strongest muscle in your body. So looking ahead to next week, week four, um, drink water be hydrated. So next week's class is all about drinking water and keeping yourself hydrated. Looking forward to that. For those who tuned in to week three of Health Messages, thank you very much. Um, I'll see you next Friday at 11 a.m.